returns to his post. Good afternoon. I'm Jessica Haverly and I'm Bill Phillips. Joe DeBartolomeo returned to the role of city manager last night following a swearing in ceremony. News 9's Alex Taylor joins us live from Weirton with the latest. Alex. Bill, Jessica, the city of Weirton has gone through many changes over the last year or so. Last night, re-swearing in city manager Joe DiBartolomeo. Now, they've gone through several changes since Travis Blosser resigned as city manager in the summer of 2018. From there, Joe took over as city manager until about January of 2019. After that, when he resigned for other opportunities, the finance director took over as interim city manager. Then Carlo Pilgrim was sworn in as permanent city manager. That only lasted a month or so said it wasn't a good fit. Then Dean Polium took over as interim super or interim city manager, excuse me. And once again, Joe B D Bartolomeo is back in. He said he was pursuing other opportunities, but stepped back in as the permanent city manager for the time being. Sorry about this. There's a lot of noise going on around us during this live shot here this afternoon. But I talked to him this morning, had the opportunity to speak with him. He said one of his biggest reasons in stepping in as the city manager back in again is because he has young children and he said that he hopes that they want to come back to the city. They both moved out of town and he wants to make this a place for young people, not just the old people like him. Those are his words. So we'll share more with you tonight on News 9. For now, reporting live in Weirton, Alex Taylor, News 9 Midday.